Howdy folks, it's Adrian the Hunting Gear Guy, and this is a Savage Rascal. <laughs> this is probably the first gun that I've done in this style of video that it, the whole thing fits on the screen very easily. Look, it even fits sideways. <laughs> They're tiny. These are a tiny little rifle. Uh, the whole idea with these are this is a, a youth rifle. There is something for them to start on. It's in 22 LR, and uh, it's just a bolt-action rifle. So pull it open, and you can see that it's empty there. Uh, this little red guy here is kind of like a little sled. You put the round on it, it'll go up there, and that actually gets out of the way as you push that bolt forward. You see that it'll actually start going down there as the bolt uh, goes forward and locks into place. Um, for a very simple little rifle. Uh, we've got a safety on the right-hand side there, so that's on safe. That's on fire, so it's easier to get onto safe than onto fire. And it uses an aperture style sight. So you can see that aperture on the back. And then we have a front post. So look through the aperture, center the top of the post inside the target, and fire. You'd think that would be hard for kids, but it's actually very easy. I find they don't have any problems with the aperture at all. Uh, it does have an accu trigger on it, so uh, so that is quite nice. It just makes it for a little bit easier of a gun to shoot. And it's a really nice trigger on it. Nicer than the trigger I had on my first 22. <laughs> so we'll say that. Um, now the uh, uh, the aperture sights actually have a, a couple of different things you can use to adjust them, and they're all very easy to use. So uh, for your windage side to side, we just loosen this guy right here, and then we can move the whole shebang left or right. And if we ever mess it up, there's a couple of little witness marks on there that do make it easier to figure out where to put it. Uh, and then for elevation, we can loosen this guy. It's also uh, kind of like a nut, and we can then rotate this thing up or down. Another option, if you don't like those, is that you can actually use bases along the top. So they do sell Savage Rascal uh, bases for these things. You could put a red dot or something like that on here. Uh, one thing that's going to be an opponent for you is the cheek weld to get off of it. Uh, so I have a big, well, adult-sized head. Uh, imagine if I was a kid and I had a small head. Look at where my eye is right now. I'm like in line with the barrel. Uh, I need to be like up here. And if I had a red dot or something like that, even higher. Uh, so you're going to need to put some sort of cheek material or a cheek rest or something on here because it's just not high enough. I'm floating my cheek so high over this thing in order to look through that uh, uh, aperture. And if I had a red dot, I would be even higher and I'm just grazing the side of my chin. So if you want to do your kid, kids a favor, if you do get one of these things, and I think they are really good rifles, especially for the price uh, and what you can do with them. Uh, they're fine. I just think you'll need a cheek rest or something like that. I would rather they had this thing just a little bit higher or they had um, some replaceable like uh, adjustable cheek pieces that they could put on here or something because it would it'd just be so much nicer to be able to adjust that and get correct cheek rest and show a kid what the correct cheek rest is uh, right from the get-go. Uh, we do have steel sling swivels front and back. That's useful if you wanted to take your kid rabbit hunting or squirrel hunting or something like that. Boy, a sling's nice. Uh, just for them to be able to sling up and, and take their rifle like uh, like dad or mom. Uh, really great for that kind of a thing. So why don't we take this thing out to the range? So as you can see, pretty straightforward. <laughs> not much, not really much to it. Uh, they're they're pretty straightforward little rifles. Not really much to uh, not, not much going on here, uh, which is good uh, for for a kid. This is fine. I think that um, they're going to have an easy time using it. 
I think that it's a, a, a really good starter rifle and the price is right. So there's that too. Um, I think if your kids are a little bit bigger, like your kids are, let's say, around 11 or 12, you may want to get them just a, a, a regular 22, something that doesn't quite have such a, a short length of pull as this one, because they're going to outgrow this one very quickly. But if they're just get go getting going, like if your kid's five or six or seven or, or even younger, uh, one of these they're going to get some, some years of use out of. Uh, they're kind of fun for plinking around the cottage and that kind of thing. Even as an adult, if you want like a quick, like if, <laughs> if your kids outgrew it, um, you could use this for hunting rabbits. You could just pull this guy out here and, uh, uh, sling it up and, and take this super lightweight little, uh, uh, gun around, especially for like rabbits or squirrels or something like that. You're going to need one shot. Uh, the aperture sights are, uh, are, are easy enough to use. I wouldn't mind using something like this. So uh, a couple of, uh, things that are food for thought with the, uh, Savage Rascal, uh, compact 22 LR. Thanks for watching.